Episode 7 of the Mount Rushmore series MLB edition continues. Closing pitcher. Let me introduce my contributors. This may be a Yankee-loaded contributor list here today, so spare with me. Um, and I want to give a shout-out to them for who guys were available. So a special shout-out to the list contributing team here on this panel. For the first time on the Mount Rushmore, Eddie, Eddie, you were available. Your number was called. How you doing, bro? I'm good. I'm glad to get my number called. Uh, Falco from the Falco Takeaway, after that last live, uh, licking his chops. Falco, how you doing, man? What up, what up, what up? Uh, TK the Tank, Tom Kennedy's not <laughs> talking football. He's not talking pro wrestling, but he is talking baseball. How you doing, man? Great to be here, Carl. Thanks for having me. And we have JP Connors back for his third Mount Rushmore. This is JP. How you doing, brother? Good. I'm always last, I guess. How you doing? <laughs> Save the best for last, right? Of course. That's right. I always back clean up. Listen, let's, go. let's do this. So, Eddie, I'm going to give you the floor first. Is this is your first Mount Rushmore on the okay. hit list. So, who cranks your top four all-time closers? All right. Um, I didn't get to see him pitch, but I'm going to go with Raleigh Finger. Um, 341 saves, 2.64 ERA, Cy Young, and MVP in the same season. World Series MVP, three times World Series champion, and the first pitcher to ever record 300 saves. Um, I got uh, my next up, Trevor Hoffman. Um, Trevor Hoffman is probably the least accomplished in the postseason of the ones that I have on my Mount Rushmore. Um, but in the regular season, he had a filthy changeup, like filthy, 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 um, 601 saves, 2.87 ERA. Um, you know, had a great um, regular season career, um, and he's noted as one of the greatest. Um, the next one I have is Dennis Eckersley. Um, he started off maybe, I think, his first 12 years as a starting pitcher, um, and he finished as a closer. He ended up having 197 wins and 390 saves, which is incredible. Um, you know, he also won a Cy Young and an MVP in the same season. Um, he's a World Series champion. Um, you know, he won the Cy Young and the MVP award at the age 37, which is crazy. Um, and I'm saving the best for last. I'm going to New York. Um, you know, you, you know, every time he came into the game, it was electrifying. I got to go with the alma mater, okay, representing Queens from St. John's University, John Franco. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's Mariano Rivera. I don't even need to label anything else. You know what I mean? What he did in the postseason is crazy. 0.7 ERA for his career. Pretty much his career was a regular season. Um, stat line, 141 innings, 8-1, and 42 saves. Um, he the, has the most saves in Major League history. Um, he's completed the most games um, in Major League history. And he was a World Series MVP. And he was the anchor for the um, New York Yankees. All right, so you have Raleigh Fingers, Trevor Hoffman, Dennis Eckersley, and Mo. Let's go to um, JP next. JP, you're on the clock, bro. Ooh, all right. Um, Eddie, you're the best, man. You helped me out on some of those because I didn't know what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> Raleigh Fingers, definitely. Um, a little less vocal than the Goose, which gets an honorable mention. Better mustache, too. But uh, Cy Young MVP in 1982, right? First real still true close when you look at it all right uh, multiple inning closer right um, 1.20 era plus which is outstanding uh next i've been tossing and turning a few guys here and there um i'm gonna throw a wrinkle into this uh, trevor hoffman definitely a great regular season closer blew every single big game possible um in the playoffs uh so i'm gonna say uh billy wagner um, just kind of like President Day Kimbrell, even though his career is still Wagner, I believe should be in the Hall of Fame, and his numbers say so, um, my opinion, of course. Uh, more strikeouts than Mariano Rivera as far as his career is concerned. His career might have been too short, some might say. Um, definitely a peak guy, 1.8, uh, 187 ERA plus. Not much playoff experience, but I'm throwing that in there just as somebody different. The Eck, number two, absolutely. I think that's a no-brainer. Uh, Dennis Eckersley, all right, 390 saves, like we said, 2.85 ERA as a reliever, 145 ERA plus, 1992 Cy Young and MVP as a closer. And number one, I think, speaks for itself is not even a contest. Mariano Rivera, one thing I want to add to it, Eddie said, um, I, they say more people walked on the moon, right, than scored on Mariano in the postseason. So Mariano speaks for himself, okay, best all time, and I believe that's uncontested. All right, so Raleigh Fingers, Billy Wagner, Dennis Eckersley, and Mo. TK, you're right. on the clock, bro. All right, so uh, I'm going a little different here with my first choice. 
My first choice from the year 2002 to 2004, from August 2002 to July 2004, did not blow a single save. He had 84 consecutive saves. In the season of 2003 alone, he was the Cy Young Award winner, and he made 55 consecutive saves in those 84 consecutive save streaks. Uh, his ERA was 1.2. He had a whip of .69. He had a K per nine inning of 15. And even though uh, in 2005, he had Tommy John surgery and was never the same, I'm putting Eric Gagne from the Los Angeles Dodgers on this list just because for three years he was – I mean, statistics prove he had a better three years from 2000. 2 to 2004 than my number one guy, Mariano Rivera. So for that stretch, I'm putting Gagne on this list. Uh, number three, I'm going with Trevor Hoffman. As we've stated previously, did not have the playoff success, but you look at his regular season accolades, he had 600 career saves. You look at 1998, the uh, Padres went to the World Series that season to get them to the World Series. Hoffman had a 1.48 ERA league leading 53 saves. Uh, he was excellent, an absolute filthy changeup. He finished second in the Cy Young Award voting that year and seventh in the MVP voting. So number three for me is Trevor's Ho Trevor Hoffman. Uh, number two, the Yak, Dennis Eckersley. Uh, you've got a starter who is mediocre at best, switched over to the closer role and became absolutely dominant. Uh, in 1992, at the age of 37, like Eddie said, he won the Cy Young Award and the MVP Award, uh, something that's very rare to happen, averaging 10 strikeouts per nine innings. Uh, Dennis Eckersley, definitely number two for me. And number one, no one can argue it. I said this, and I kind of set JP up last time on the Jackie Robinson one, but I think it's easy to say for this one, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be setting Brandon up, that number one has to be Mariano Rivera. There is only one Mariano Rivera. There is only one Enter Sandman. I don't care how long Billy Wagner used that uh, song for. There is only Mariano, and I'm a Mets fan. <laughs> And uh, about that. Billy Wagner is great, though. Billy Wagner is great. I love Billy Wagner. He had excellent career with the Astros and excellent with the Mets. But Mariano is number one. All right. Agreed. So Eric Gagne, Trevor Hoffman, Dennis Eckersley, and Mo. Falco, you're on the clock, bro. Number four, Rolly Fingers, 340 career saves, Cy Young, MVP, World Series MVP. His body of work speaks for itself. Number three, Trevor Hoffman, second, second all-time in saves, 601 saves. Yeah, like everyone addressed that. He didn't have the postseason success. But 601 saves speaks for itself. Number two, Billy Wagner, 2.3 ERA, one of the highest all time, over 400 saves. And number one, wait, can we get the audio audio quick? No. Mariano Rivera, <laughs> Enter Sandman, five time champion, 1999 World Series MVP, 2003 ALCS MVP, lowest career ERA of all time in the regular season and postseason, 42 career postseason saves, 652 regular season saves. Mariano Rivera, cold blooded assassin, the GO. All and right. One hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. Can I what? say one thing quick? Give we me always one. forget. Yeah. Yo, oh, give, let me just give uh, Brandon's rundown. So he has Mo, Billy Wagner, Trevor Hoffman, and uh, Rolly Fingers. Go ahead, JP. I myself am guilty. We forget he was the setup man in 1996, what might have oh. been. I don't want to say it's his best year, but he finished third in the Cy Young Award behind Henkin and Andy Pettit. Let's not forget. He had, I have it here, 130 strikeouts and 107 innings. I mean, that was unbelievable that year. And I know it wasn't as closer. But just that single season in itself, that's sick, man, when you think about it. Yeah. You know, I just – we always forget that. TK, um, you're yeah. the only one not to put fingers on your list. Why? Uh, because I thought Eric Gagne had a better, more substantial – yes, it's only three years, but when you look at what he did and you look at – you know, we already have Mariano Rivera his whole career. We already have Dennis Eckersley. He won an MVP and a Cy Young in the same season. And I had Trevor Hoffman, who had a filthy changeup. I wanted to put a different kind of player on there, a guy that might not get as much uh, mentioned or noticed because he had Tommy John surgery in 2005 and had a fairly short career. But in those three years, you can argue that he was one of the best all time. Mariano Rivera in 2003 had a 1.66 ERA and was absolutely filthy in 2003, but Eric Gagne was better. So I wanted to put Eric Gagne on there and give a, give a guy I remember from when I was 11, 12, and 13 watching baseball, give him some love. 
Okay, J- J- JP, you're the only one not to put Trevor Hoffman on your list. Why? Yeah, so a couple things. One, uh, it was one of those things I figured everybody would have Trevor Hoffman on their list, so I wanted to get somebody else on my list and not there. just an honorable mention. I think Billy Wagner, uh, listen, Hoffman's unbelievable, right? He got them to the World Series, blew a big game in the World Series, and I remember that too. But it saves, you're right. But as far as, sorry, uh, Wagner's concerned, um, you know, his strikeouts um, for the time in which he pitched. I mean, if you gave him the ball, I think he was a notable pitcher during that era. And he does compare to Kimbrell as far as, you know, averaging 108 strikeouts a season, et cetera. So a little more than an honorable mention for me. Silly Wagner. Okay. Okay. So does uh, um, no one, all these names pretty much deserve to be on this list. Does any name surprise us at all? Or does everyone pretty much have a fair shake? Did uh, the TK's um, Eric Gagne surprise us at all? Or is that, is that, is that a fair? It didn't uh, to me. It didn't surprise me because I was kind of juggling that last spot, even though I think Lolly Fingers deserves it. Um, C- Craig Krim- Craig Kimbrell looked like he was on his way, but then right. he fell off a bit. Um, someone like Brad Lidge looked like he was on his way, then he fell off a bit. Um, I don't think that um the pitcher from uh, 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 Lee Lee um the Lee Smith. Lee, Lee Smith Lee Smith. I don't think he gets enough credit. Um, I was thinking Goose Gossage, you know, so I was kind of rumbling around with who could be on my my list. Um, I picked Raleigh Fingers. He was the first, you know, you have to play, you're pitching to your, um, to your era, and he was the first person to win to have 300 states, you know. Um, and he also won a MVP and a Cy Young in the same season. He has a lot of postseason success, so that's why I threw Raleigh Fingers. But I'm not mad at him picking Eric Gagne, um, you know, because I, I, he, he was for a couple of years as dominant as as could be. Okay, let me ask this general question. For someone who doesn't watch baseball or sports would look at a closer and say, well, this guy just comes in for one inning and then that's it. And then he gets paid a, 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 you know, a shitload of money, right? But when, you, when, when you're looking at the pitching, you have a, a starting pitcher relief and closer. Is the closer position the most important of the three pitching roles? Yes, 100%. It is the hardest role in sports. I'll argue the only... The hardest role in sports, sports total? Listen, hold on. The only <laughs> position specifically I'd argue that's harder is playing quarterback. If you want to make that comparison, totally fine. But everything else closer is harder than any other spot. You're rel- re- relied upon on every single day. If your team is up three runs or less or tied, you are coming in there and to have a flawless inning uh, make no mistake, a starting pitcher, you could have a shaky inning, a shaky first inning, bounce back, your team still gets the win. As a closing pitcher, you make one mistake, your team loses, and every all the blame is on you. It's all on you. To come in night after night and how, how heavily used you are and how dependent you have to be on to close out ball games, it's one of the toughest roles in sports. That's why in other sports they look at, who could close in terms of basketball? Who could give the ball to and hit the clutch shot? In football, who, what quarterback could convert on third and long? The same thing with baseball. Closers are the most important role in the sport, in, in baseball especially. And in sports, the only thing I would argue is quarterback. Okay, well, JP, I, oh, oh, TK, I'm going to get to you. JP, do you agree? Is that the most important uh, pitching role as, as the closer? So I think that the last three outs are the hardest to get. Okay, I I do agree with that. I think that when you look at the different eras, the roles change a little bit, right? Like we're talking about Rolly Fingers, Goose Gossage, they pitch multiple innings to close a game, right? We don't see that as much now. Now, sometimes the game's on the line in the seventh, and if you have a bullpen that you have a couple closers down there, you know, uh, the Indians Miller in the sixth inning to save a World Series game at that point, you know? For the Yankees, Mariano Rivera, though, that was a traditional closers role, and you knew the game was over with him. And that's what I think makes – a dominant closer that when you know this guy's coming in, that's it. So, yes, even though I said what I said and roles evolve, the last three outs, in my opinion, are the hardest to get. It might not necessarily be, um, you know, batters two, three, four. It might be eight, nine, uh, seven, eight, nine, but it's still hard to get that last out because you've seen a lot of guys try and a lot of guys Ooh. fail at it. Piggyback okay. off that, piggyback off that with those last three outs, the at bats are approached entirely differently. The eighth inning, absolutely. Bats, yeah, bats are not as intense because you know you still have your last life. There's other right. guys, for example, Del Patanzas. I, I, I used to be a huge fan of him before he got traded to the Mets. Del Patanzas, when he came in the eighth inning, it was lights out. It was three strikeouts, devastating breaking ball. People could not touch him. When you when they tried moving him to the ninth inning, it was a disaster. We saw he we we always know he had control problems, but once you got to the ninth inning, Del Patanzas always had control problems. 
The ninth inning is money time. It's the same thing in basketball. We see guys have, have a dominant first half, a dominant third quarter, even a dominant fourth quarter. But what about those last two minutes? Maybe they shy away from shoot, shooting your shot. But a clo closer role is entirely different. The last three hours. So, in essence, so, 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 so in essence, my Kawhi Leonard and Paul George aren't closers, in a sense, right? Basically, <laughs> what it comes to. <laughs> and, and, well, and, let me just, just to piggyback off of everyone here. JP, I'm going to get to you. Go, 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 go ahead, TK. Okay, so, I mean, you, you look at baseball. I think the starting pitcher is definitely a more important position because you can have a good closer, but if it never gets to the ninth inning, it doesn't right. matter. But closer is the hardest position. You look at uh, baseball, that's why I have Eric Gagne up here because to make 84 consecutive saves in a row and never fail and go in in the most pressure laying situations and close that game every time for two years straight is phenomenal. It's a great achievement. That's why he's on my list. But you look at basketball, you look at football, you don't have a fourth-quarter quarterback. You don't have a two-minute – quarterback you don't have uh 30 second last 30 seconds you know point guard you're going to take out lebron and put some other guy in uh baseball is the only sport where you have this one guy who can deal in high pressure situations comes in and can he succeed and that's why we have these closers on this mount rushmore because you look at a guy like mariano rivera he succeeded his whole career and that's what makes him such an outlier such a special player because you're always under the maximum amount of pressure Hold okay, on. Jim. Starting, starting pitching so, is not more valuable than a uh, closer. One, one, one second, Fox. Yeah, I'm going to get back yeah. to you. JP had a quick point. JP, go ahead. Yeah, all, all, all I wanted to say is I, I was trying to say it before, like, Gagne is awesome, and I agree with you. And that's what makes, like, Rivera and Hoffman, even though I didn't pick him, these guys were good for their entire careers. Other guys have come in and been good two-year closers, three-year closers, maybe four, and they falter out. A guy like Mariano, this guy – what, 18 years? 19, I mean, it, yeah. 19 years, right? It's the hardest thing to do because, like you said about Patances and all these other guys that I call imposters, right? They all go to the ninth inning. They got good stuff. They blow the game. Look at um, look at the guy on the Mets. I hate to – I'm not telling you – I'm not telling killing you, TK. That guy's got nasty stuff, but he can't close the game. Like, hold, it's hold, it's the yeah. hardest three he outs to get. Hold on. Okay, okay. No, Franco, no. Franco, one okay. second. Eddie, Eddie, to answer the question, is that the hardest okay. uh, job – in, as far as the pitching role is concerned, it, being a closer? The, I think it's the hardest job. I don't think it's the most important job. And I'm going to okay. tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I think that. It's the hardest thing, in, in, I think, in baseball is to get the final three outs. However, when a setup man is coming in, primarily they're coming in in a shit situation. They're coming to save the starting pitcher who might have tired out. So they might come in with a runner on second and third, uh, not a clean inning. Now, that's not everybody because, you know, you have Mariano that will come in in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning or whatnot. But Mariano Rivera also had excellent setup men his whole career. Tom Gordon, Mike Stanton, and they were very important to his success as well because they allowed a lot of times for him to have clean innings. And I love Mariano. If Mariano was able to do that with one pitch, he knew what was coming, couldn't touch it. That's it, one pitch. That's incredible. The hardest uh, position is yeah, but yeah, yeah. Tom, 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 yeah. Tom Kenny, that's a, that's a terrible take. Starting pitching is not more important than a closer role. If you could yes. any, look at the whole entire game, you could say, okay, your pitcher could shut down a lineup, but then if you Brent. don't, you're gonna lose. And you need, like, you need the, hold on, you need. Who the won the World Series, series last year? Hold on, who won the World on. Series last year? I'm, I'm speaking. Don't interrupt me, first of all. It's the whole, <laughs> who won the World Series whole, last year? Well, you're I, speaking. I'm, you're not speaking any I'm, sense. I'm, I'm gonna speaking. interrupt you because the no, Nationals I'm won the World Series last year with a lot of Guys, 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 time out. Guys, time out. Guys, guys. Okay, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Let me tell you this. I was searching for a debate for my live show next week. I just found it. Hold no. your thoughts. We're going to do this on the oh, line. Oh, no. Yes. Hold yeah. your thoughts. Hold your uh, thoughts. Because, listen, you know me. I'm all about selling stuff, right? Uh, this is a great debate that we can have on the live. What is more important? I'm going to set it up as hey, soon as we on, get out of here. Wait, question. So, so One last. I want to go closing pitcher versus starting pitcher. What's more important? You great? You're in? Oh, yeah. That should be the debate. Right, TK? What's more important? Yeah, the closing sure. pitcher or the starting pitcher? We'll have it next week yeah. on next week's live show. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, listen. Hold your thoughts. I know. I know Falco's Ooh, itching, God, and I can tell. But I, let me do my like, job as the media man and book this debate because I think it'll sell. I think I'm a baseball great. guy. This was my role. Don't don't offend it. <laughs> well, well, well. You know what? To be fair, TK pitched too, so you can't say that. Yeah. TK is a pitcher too. So here we have. I was we have a pitcher, pitchers. and I was a starting pitcher. You were the starting pitcher, and Brendan, were you starting or relief? Uh, relief. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. okay. It, it's it should be a good one. Okay. So. <laughs> JP, I'm going to give you the first pick. Um, off your Mount Rushmore, who cranks the top all time? Top all times, Mariana Rivera. Okay, he goes Mo. That's the oh, – he has to make that list. Eddie, Mo, 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 Mo. 
Eddie, you're next. Off your list, who makes the Mount Rushmore? You can't pick Mo because Mo's already gone. No, we know, of course. Um, I, I'll go with Raleigh Fingers. Fingers. Falco. I guess we're going to go with Billy Wagner. Wagner. Wow. Oh. TK. Like um, Dennis Eckersley. That's a good question. Okay, so we have Wagner, Eckersley, Mo, and Fingers. Are we all satisfied with that list? Yeah. I feel bad yeah. about leaving Trevor Hoffman out. As long as my childhood idol is out there, we're good. Who, oh, Mo? <laughs> okay, so everyone's satisfied. We're all good. I saw what you did, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I saw what you did. You tried it. You you made sure he did not pick Gagne. I saw that. You made he, sure he, he didn't pick Gagne. He, he wasn't wanted picking Gagne. Gagne. I wanted to pick he Gagne. Could've. He could have. He could have. I, I, I he couldn't leave Eckersley and Hoffman yeah, off. Yeah. Gagne was my fourth guy. <laughs> Hoffman and Eckersley were above him. Eckersley was my number two guy, so it's got to be Eckersley, or else what the hell am I talking okay, about? Okay, um, so again, we have Wagner, Eckersley, Mo, and Fingers to round out our Mount Rushmore. Before I let everyone go, JP, who are you taking in that debate that we just booked here live? Uh, well, not live, but taped on the Mount Rushmore segment. The most important position for a pitcher is it the starting or the closer? Uh, I'm debating that with myself, right? Now. <laughs> okay, because so I, you know what, because, you know what JP? JP, because, you know, decide. <laughs> because I, I, I'm looking at it from different angles. I'm looking at it as a player, a coach, et cetera, depending on what my team is, what my bullpen looks like. I think it's all relative. Okay, uh, Eddie, real quick before we even build the, the debate, what, what are your thoughts on this for next week? Starting pitcher, there's not that many good closes anymore. Okay, there we have it. So, gentlemen, thank you for joining me here on the Mount Rushmore series. We have two more episodes before we close out and we go over to the NBA. We have starting pitcher, which will be the next week's edition, and we have the manager role. I think, JP, you're on the manager one. I think right. uh, I may have – I'm on the starting pitching one. Yeah, you're on the starting pitcher one too. So, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. To all of our sports hit list content, you can check us out live on Wednesdays on the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. Now also on Sundays for, pre, for, for football pregame shows. Check us out at 12.30 p.m. Um, make sure you check out the Falco Takeaway. He's doing a great job on his podcast. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys are staying safe. Take care.